Welcome back to Great Day. It is everyday life for so many people living in Houston. Wheezing, sneezing, stuffy nose, and headaches. Dr. Robert Palmer from American Sinus Institute says you don't have to live that way, and his patient, Sherry Laxterkamp, is proof of that. Welcome. All right, uh, we were talking during the commercial break, and you said if you're living in Texas, you have a higher chance of dealing with allergies, but Houston does it bigger and better than anybody. <laughs> so true, much more than uh, Dallas-Fort Worth. <laughs> yeah, give us that comparison. <laughs> well, in... Uh, Houston and Austin as well, an allergy count that's bad, it's probably about 150,000. I lived in Fort Worth, and when it was 12, they thought it was bad. Oh, wow. So it's quite a bit different. Yeah, yeah, and you felt every bit of it, oh, didn't yes, you? Oh, yes, for many years. Yeah, you, yes. and so for many years, what were you dealing with? I think sometimes people, if they don't suffer from this, don't understand how it definitely shuts you down. It does shut you down. Probably 20 plus years, I was dealing with just not being able to breathe. Literally, I couldn't leave the house without my nasal spray just to get me through the day. Yeah. And then I started, when I was flying, I would get these sinus pressure headaches, just awful. Yeah. And so. And then taking all the over counter medications. Yeah, that's How true. did you find out about this procedure we're about to well, talk about? Well, I, yeah, I was watching your show and I saw it on, you know, the television and I was like, this sounds like something that could really work for me. Yeah. You know, I want to do a little, you know, trying to see if this is right. And so I saw the doctor and he gave me, you know, just an initial exam and he's like, you're a candidate. Yeah, all right. Okay, what <laughs> makes a candidate and what types of symptoms are we talking about? Some well, of the things that she mentioned. There's a lot of different things that can cause problems have sinus, but she's a perfect candidate for what we do. You heard what she said, she couldn't breathe, she couldn't fly, she had pressure headaches. So what she's describing is a ventilation problem. She probably had sinus infections and didn't even know about it. Mm -hmm. But that's the point. As you said earlier, sometimes the sinus infections will, will clear themselves up, but you're miserable during the process. Exactly. So what we do is we reestablish ventilation. That cuts down on the negative pressure. You don't have the headaches. And then we shrink the mucosa in the nose so you can breathe because when your mucosa is swollen, your sinuses get blocked. So it's a ventilation drainage problem. We did the balloon plasty on her and opened her nasal passage and she's doing wonderful. Yeah, now there are a lot of simple. folks who, who may have had a procedure several years ago uh, where they remove the tissue and the bone and all that type of stuff and it's a much more aggressive surgery and so they're thinking they might not want to do that. This is new technology, this is a new procedure. Exactly, it's not surgery at all, it's mm -hmm. a procedure. It's a bit, essentially just dilating the sinuses and not damaging them, that's the point. You can't damage the sinuses. They, are, they work by mucociliary flow and when you go in surgically and cut things, you make that inefficient. Yeah, that, that causes problems, but that's not what you're doing right here. You're, you're no, opening them up. we're opening them up. So once they're opened up, does, is that for good? I hope so. But, yeah, right. You know, <laughs> I mean, let's put it this way, it should be. Now, if somebody has bad allergies, I can't change their allergies with this procedure. I make people who have allergies live with them much better with this procedure. Because things are flowing now. But if they yeah. do get into that congestion again, it can easily be done again. Yeah, all right, so you had the procedure done. I did. And when did you first notice that? Um, within 12 hours. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, I had no I had no swelling, I had no nothing, no bruising. I was able to just breathe immediately. Yeah. How long did it take you before you weren't searching for your nasal spray? Well, uh, three days. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, it's know. funny because people oftentimes go, where's my nasal? Oh, wait, I don't need it anymore, exactly. right? Yeah, and now my new normal is, you know, I can breathe. I don't have to be searching for the nasal spray. It's yeah. just, you know, a normal. And I was going to say, you know, you've heard that old adage, if it's too good to be true, it probably isn't. In this case, it's true. Yeah. It's so good, and it's true. That you, you <laughs> suffered all that time yes. and, and didn't have to. Yeah. All right, so when someone, and another important point she mm -hmm. made is that when she, she came in, you did an evaluation. So people need to go to the right doctor, preferably you, right, right. To, to understand what the procedure is and what's actually happening. You know, we think about the nose as just being right here, right? The nose is really all the stuff is connected. Exactly. So the importance of going to a right doctor. Exactly. You need to go to somebody who has, understands the sinuses and also understands balloon plastic. Yeah. And uh, I did thousands of uh, endoscopic sinus cases and got reasonable results, but what I found, the less I did, the better I got with the, that procedure. Yeah. But that procedure still damages the sinuses. This procedure does not. Yeah, so again, when you ask the doctor, this is the procedure you want, because mm -hmm. oftentimes people say, oh yeah, we can fix it, or if it's medications, mm -hmm. but medications don't get to the root of the problem, exactly. right? They just deal with the symptoms. And so now she can breathe again, again. and doesn't need her uh, best friend anymore, that nasal spray. <laughs> That's right. All That's right. right. <laughs> Thank you very much. To make your appointment with the American Sinus Institute, call 713-BALLOON. That works out to be 713-225-5666. 713-225-5666. And for more information on, uh, you can log on to American sinus.com.